Hi, I'm Lisa London. I'm the accountant beside you, and I'm here today to show you how to track mission trips in QuickBooks. As the author of QuickBooks for Churches and other religious organizations, um, I would like you to understand that when you're tracking mission trips, you have to worry about the revenues coming in, fundraisers or invoices to members, and the expenses going out. So in order to do that, we need to take care of a few things first. Starters, under lists, we need to add an item. In my case, I called this mission fundraisers for the money raised. Also under lists, I wanted to add a new class so I could track the mission trip separately. So I put it as a subclass under fundraising. Once you get those set up, you will need to set up in your customer center. Remember, customers is donors or members. Um, what you need to do is set up a mission trip under each person who's going. So for example, I have a Paula Easley here, the mission trip's going. If I need to add another person to go, I would right click on them, hit add job, and then add the mission trip that way. Once those are set up, now you can start to record the related fundraisers or expenses. So in this example, uh, we had our four people who were going had a, had a car wash and they made $2,000 between the four of them. So I'm going to put that into their accounts by going to something called Create Batch Invoices. This will be on your system if you have the Premier or the nonprofit version of QuickBooks. It will not be there if you have the Pro version. You'll have to individually set up these invoices. But the advantage of the batch invoicing is that you can set up a billing group, which I'm calling Mission Trip, and you can designate your members who are going on the mission trip into it. But note that I go all the way down. I don't just highlight their name. I go all the way to their, the mission trip under their name to make sure this works. Then hit Next. Now is where you hit up the invoice. So I want the item to be that money re-raising, that mission fundraiser. The class to be that mission trip class we set up. We raised $2,000 over four of them, so that's $500 each. And now if I hit Next, it's now invoicing all four of them for me for equal amounts. I hit Create Invoice, and it's offering to let me print your email, which of course I don't need to do. That is how we get the invoices, into, or the revenues, into their individual mission accounts. When you go to make the deposit of that $2,000, we do that a little differently than normal. We're going to have receive payments. And then you're going to pick the people who went on the mission trip. So Paula here, she got $500 and um, it's going to apply it to her invoice that we'd set up a moment ago. The important thing on this one is a reference number. Make it the same on all four people so that when you go to see your deposit, your undeposited funds, you can click all four of those together so the four 500s add the two, to the $2,000. Then you just hit Save and New and you would keep doing that for all the others. I'm going to close it out. Now you have some expenses related. Let's uh, say that we bought some t-shirts uh, for, for the mission trip from T-Shirt Galore. And this is the second time we bought t-shirts, so it remembers how I allocated them the last time. You can see I put it to the supplies. I allocated it equally across the four people going. But I made sure under the, that it's a customer and their job under each one of those. And under the class, it goes all the way to the subclass. That's important. Then you just hit Save and Close on it. Now we can run reports to see um, exactly how much each person has in their mission account. So if we go to Job Profitability Detail, then we put the person's name, so let's go to Paula here, hit OK. We can see that Paula has raised $2,500 towards the trip. We've only been charged $450 worth of expenses so far, so she still has $2,050 left to spend on the trip. And you can customize this for each individual person. 
Additionally, you can run a report that will um, show you how much the trip in total has raised and expensed. So in this case, I've memorized a, a report, profit and loss by class, for this mission trip. So we've raised $6,000. We've had expenses of $1,000. So we still have $5,000 worth of expenses yet uh, to pay for, for the trip. So that, in a nutshell, is how you track a mission trip in QuickBooks. For more information, check out my website, accountantbesideyou.com, and look for my new book, uh, Using QuickBooks in a Nonprofit Organization, Association, and uh, Civic Clubs. Take care.